Hey, Tiger fans, Mark Fitzpatrick from the Tiger Club of Kansas City. It's Tuesday, March 5th. Our guest speaker today, longtime Kansas City sports personality, John Doolittle. John, thanks for coming out. Fitz, it was good to be here. I enjoyed being with the Tiger people, and we reminisce not only about uh, a lot of things Mizzou, but uh, Royals and other things as well. John, you are the uh, host of the Mizzou post-game basketball show, so right. you've watched the Tigers pretty closely this yep. year. Obviously, the record is maybe not what we wanted, but I think everything this team's been through, the uh, foundation is laid for a strong future. Well, they've tried to get their way through all the injuries they've had. It's been tough. It's been frustrating. Uh, I'm not telling Missouri fans anything they don't already know with not having Jonte, just a terrible blow to begin the season, and not having Michael last year, and... Uh, Mark Smith going out, just a tough blow. For them to be close to 500 with a chance of a 500 overall record when it's all said and done, I think that's a great goal to have and get the thing, get positive momentum here at the beginning of March in the next season. I've really been uh, uh, excited to watch the development of the three freshman guards from the beginning of the season to where they are now. And then we saw Torrance Watson in the last game go for 20 points, and I think he's really taking a step out. They seem to be maturing, and they're the kind of kids that are going to stick around and, and help the team going forward. I hope so. Uh, again, freshmen are asked to play more now and contribute right away more now, and, and those guys have had their ups and downs. Some of them might have hit the wall and, uh, and are bouncing back. Uh, Watson seems to be playing yeah, his yeah. best basketball right now. Back-to-back, -back, best games of the season for him, a dozen. And then the other day with 20, and man, those shots in the lane, three-point play, yep. one of them, and then uh, one on the left wing and one on the right wing. He just step up and have the confidence to knock those in. That was pretty good. You watch a ton of college basketball. I do. It's been a really interesting season across the nation. It doesn't appear that there is a prohibitive favorite for the national championship this year. Who do you like going into March? I think you probably still have to favor Duke. Uh, if think, Zion Williamson's healthy. Yeah, I think he's going to be back soon. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he's getting closer to being cleared. They still have, even without him, as you know, they have merit. They have a fair, fairly good amount of McDonald's All-Americans. Uh, as I always call them, the glamour teams. Yeah. It's, they're always going to be there. A glamour team has won the NCAA tournament in the Final Four every year, every year back to 1966 wow. when UTEP and then 63 with Loyola before that. So a Blue Blood, a national program, a glamour school has won this tournament all the way back to the 60s. That's a long time. That is. Uh, changing gears for just a little bit. You spent a lot of time covering the Royals over the years. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be an interesting season. I think it'll be a fun team to watch. They'll uh, steal a lot of bases. Yeah, which they, they did. might win the track meet if we <laughs> if they have that. If, if uh, even without Dyson uh, here, Gore's yeah. still here, and we know Billy Hamilton, we know Witt, we know Mondesi can run. So uh, the the thing about it is, Fitz, if they can get those guys to second and third base, can we get those that guys driven yeah. in <laughs> once they get to those bases? That'll be the biggest thing: pitching, rebuilding the bullpen. Uh, somebody's who's going to be this year's wit who made the next step from this point up to the next level uh, O'Hearn at first base uh, he had a great second half but when he, if he starts the right. season at first what's he going to do uh, might be the last year of Alex Gordon here he's had a good career yeah. here he may have a statue Ned may have a statue all these guys from the 14 and 15 teams are all going to be in their Hall of Fame pretty soon uh, it was a great time to be a Royals fan during that time. And we're trying to build 2.0 version of what we had about five years ago. If they have a statue of Ned, will he be smiling or will he Probably be? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> hey, John, thanks for coming okay, out. He's been covering uh, local sports for going on four decades now, yeah, right? Yeah, it'll so. be 40 years this spring around Memorial Day. I've been very fortunate, very lucky. Good Lord has blessed me with a lot of good stuff, and uh, it was great to be here with the Tiger people today. And uh, don't forget to catch him on the post game so after every Mizzou basketball game. So. We'll be on after the uh, Georgia game and after the Ole Miss game. Okay. See you on the radio. Hopefully farther. Yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. And, and the SEC tournament. All right, folks. Next week we have uh, two of the uh, finest riders from the Kansas City Star, Sam Mellinger and Blair Kirkhoff, will both be here at the flea market. That's next Tuesday, March 12th. Don't forget for more information on membership and our upcoming golf tournament, check us out at kctigerclub.com. <laughs>